out of that four or five hundred, I have to pick twenty at the most. Then we start rehearsing in a little a studio at RCA Victor with a small band, with a rhythm section. And uh, we go through several songs, maybe 50 songs. We do that for several days and we, we try to add to it. And then we go to Vegas and we pick up the voices. We start rehearsing with the voices. Then graduate to the big band. But all this starts to take place two or three months before I ever make a public appearance. It's all planned out. Are you thinking about things beforehand? I mean, you're oh yeah, sure. Well, like right right now, I'm going into Vegas, and I'm, that's just on my mind all the time. Songs, wardrobe, lighting, sound, everything's on my mind. You know. And a lot of times, you listen to the radio, hear a song. Okay. It'd be a good stage song. I hear some of those. I'll do it. I notice though that when every time you do a song, you do it a certain way. I mean, you do it. You put your own stamp on it. Somehow, it takes on a whole different uh, feeling. Mm -hmm. What I said, that's just me, I guess. I, I, you know, I just do the song the way that I feel it. You know. I asked Jerry about how you could have an American trilogy told me that you had heard Mickey Newberry do it. Mm -hmm. Mickey had worked with him a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Chris I just thought it was a very good idea, you know. And all I did was just to take it and ex make the sound and expound on it, you know. What was incredible to me is the, until it I, I, dawned on me, because we're working on the stage and we have a headset on, and things are just happening, you don't really listen to the music you're too concerned about, yeah. camera angles and stuff, that here in American Trilogy, in the South, and I first dawned on me in Richmond, you've got a Union song, you've got a, basically a black spiritual, and of course you've got a rebel song. And yet that audience is responding from the very first note, and they're, and they're taking it all in sure. as their music. And yet, you know, in reality, only one of the songs is really, really theirs. Yeah. Did you ever think about how they might or might not react? To that? I didn't think about it until I did it on stage. There's one guy one night that had slipped through my entire performance. And the front stage, I mean the front table, and he had on a cowboy hat. He sat through the entire show, man. He didn't, there was no reaction much at all. So. I started in a Dixie, he stood up and put his hat over his heart. <laughs> that was it, he sat back down. You know. So just a few funny things would happen. I'd do the song in certain areas and it stand up. I start doing that song. It sit back down. <laughs> it but uh, I've had a lot of good reaction with it. When's the first time you ever did it? Did you do it in the song? Do you remember what you did? No, I did it in Vegas. It was Vegas, yeah. Last night. Yeah, I think so. It's, okay. it's a little warm in here. <laughs>